Support for Stepping Out comes in part from the Kristovich family in honor of Mary Lou and Bill Kristovich. And by New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation. New Orleans, where stories are created. This program is sponsored in part by the Eugenie and Joseph Jones Family Foundation, a local foundation proud to support the arts and culture in the greater New Orleans area. Scott Laborde and welcome to Stepping Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Gwen Tompkins, host of the radio program Music Inside Out, airing twice weekly on WWNO Radio. Welcome, dear. Thank Great you so much. Great to see you. Peggy. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Poppy Tucker, host of the radio program <laughs> Louisiana Eats, also airing twice weekly on WWNO Radio. Yes. Hi, hey. Peggy. Pianist Laura Edegren, who is also the band leader of the New Orleans Ragtime Orchestra, and so much more, <laughs> okay? We'll talk soon about all of that. And welcome, hello, Lars, good hello. to see you again. Thank and you. Alan Smasom of theatercriticism.com. But first up, of course, we're gonna have Poppy, but later on, we're going to visit with John Papa Gro, who is a wonderful pianist, and Kathleen Edmondson to talk about WWOZ's Piano Night. Miss Poppy. Well, I am starting off tonight with a very exclusive world premiere. I knew that for 10 years at the Food Heritage stage at the Jazz Festival, they were videotaping us. And this year, for the 50th anniversary, it's 30 years of Food Heritage stage, Jonathan Evans and Marion Gay, the producers, put together this fabulous, fabulous piece that we'll be showing on a continuous loop at the stage. And we're going to start off with one little clip tonight to give you a taste. It's Austin Leslie. Let's oh. have a look. Mm -hmm. This is dirty rice. You throw it on the floor, put it in the frying pan, and there it is. I'm going to tell y'all a pretty clean joke, since y'all want to hear some jokes. I know y'all didn't ask for them, though. Now, what's your shit sauce? What is, you know how they got this name? Anybody know how they got this name? Which shot? Fellow was eating, and he didn't know how to name what he wants, so he said, what is this year's sauce? And they gave it a name, which is your sauce? Don't that make sense? Gosh. Hey, Helene. Oh, oh my I'm goodness. So excited. Yeah. We're also going to see the late great Jamie Shannon. We'll see Susan oh. Spicer and Frank Brightson from years ago and Kearney from Peristyle. Don't miss the video. It's fabulous and I'm so tickled to have gotten this done. Thank you, Jonathan and Mary. And y'all did a great job. Now, you know, it's Passover tonight and it's Passover at Saba. They have a Saba Seder board for dine in or to go. It's just $40. It's fantastic. Butter toasted matzah, beet cured egg with horseradish. Oh, there's split peas with black garlic and honey, watercress salad with preserved lemon, braised oxtails, mm. potatoes with Yemenite curry and crispy shallots. It's gonna be fabulous, it always is. So go have a taste and see my friend Alan. And then if Passover isn't your thing and it's Easter you're waiting for, Easter Sunday, if you're going to the quarter to see any of the parades, to do anything, the Redfish Grill Easter mm. Buffet is the best, best deal. Over 25 items to choose from. There's oysters on the half shell and shrimp and crawfish and tuna tartare and salmon pastrami. They've got shrimp and grits, grilled redfish. There's a carving station with ham and prime rib and turkey double chocolate bread pudding and all sorts of pastries and it's really a great bargain and it's always delicious and fun and fast if you're trying to get to the parade and then I love that Michael Galata and he and his chef de cuisine Paul Shell just came back from a two-week trip to Southeast Asia and oh were they inspired they are now serving get your crawfish in the Bangkok boil 
tom mm. yum crawfish with coconut broth, marinated pineapple, tomato, cucumber, and corn, mm. andouille and potatoes, mm. of course, topped with a Thai gen sauce. No. Buttery, <laughs> yummy, spicy. And Michael says, get a bowl of noodles on the side. Once you finished eating the crawfish, you put the noodles in and you get sort of a pho style incredible yumminess. And then when I was there the other day, they snuck me a little pickled sesame cucumbers with sesame oil, sesame seeds, crispy garlic, and green onion right out of Southeast Asia. Mm. Those two had a great time, and we're going to be eating a lot of good food because of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And, of course, Gwen, a little uh, Jazz Fest preview. Tis the season, kiddo. It is the season, actually. Um, there's not, you know, this year there's not a lot of time elapsing between Fresh Quarter Festival and Jazz Fest. But before we get to Jazz Fest, there's plenty to go and see, actually. There's wonderful music, and there's a really weird and, and exciting array of music. So, for instance, you might just have time to head on down to the Little Gem Saloon this evening <laughs> if you would like to see um, Kiana Linnell um, sing uh, some jazz standards and original music from her new album, A Little Love. Um, but then, if you still have a little bit of energy, it's not a bad idea to head up to Tipitina's, actually, because uh, Bonorama... Uh, the wonderful brass group, Bonorama, they've come out with a new album, and it's called Bonorama Plays Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And it's <laughs> loud, and it's going to be fantastic, and I'm really looking forward to the show, actually. I'm very much. So, you know, a lot of local artists are um, promoting their own new albums at this time, and this is a really good time to actually go and see them where you can see them up close and personal, um, and, uh, and, you know, and um, from a vantage point that is not, you know, I mean, way back at the festival. Of course, if you want to go to the festival and see them, you can do that too. You know, <laughs> but uh, John Boutte has a new album out, of course, called uh, "A Well-Tempered Boutte," <laughs> and um, and so Aww. he's featuring his material on mm -hmm. Monday night over at DBA. And this is a wonderful album because, in part, because it's uh, dedicated to his longtime guitarist Todd Duke, mm -hmm. who passed oh, away earlier this yeah. year. Yes. He yes. was phenomenal, Todd Duke. Mm -hmm. And it's the, it might be one of your last chances to hear Todd Duke mm -hmm. um, on you know. On a recording, you know. Um, yeah. So I I, uh, I heard the song uh, the songs this morning, and I absolutely love them. Yeah. And so if you love Todd Duke, if you love John Butte, this is the album for you, and this might be the place for you. DBA on Monday evening. Um, I've never seen Dana Kurtz and Aurora Nealon together. They're fantastic vocalists, and Aurora Nealon, of course, can play any instrument that you can mm -hmm. come up with. <laughs> um, and uh, they're going to be together on Tuesday, and that's going to be over at the Starlight Lounge um, on St. Louis Street in the French Quarter. If you have a chance to see them, you know, you might as well. It's, it's a wonderful um, opportunity to see two women who have their own distinct careers come together for, a, you know, what has to be a pretty enchanted evening. They have a lovely sort of rapport in terms of cabaret music. Um, and then, of course, Aurora Nealon has, a great, has great musicianship. And uh, she's just, she raises the bar for every local performer in New Orleans. I, I really do believe that. Um, Wednesday night is a huge night in New Orleans, and that's going to be um, because of Dan Penn, the great singer-songwriter, um, singer heavy on songwriter Dan Penn. Um, he was the fellow who wrote uh, I'm Your Puppet. He wrote Do Right mm. Woman, Do Right Man. Mm. He wrote A Woman Left Lonely, which, of course, Janis Joplin sang on the dark end of the street, the great uh, James Carr standard. And uh, he's going to be performing over at Chicky Wawa with uh, the guitarist uh, John Fole on mm. Wednesday night. This is a once, I don't know if it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, but why not seize Close. the day <laughs> to see Dan Penn? I mean, mm. this guy is a giant of American music. And I am really looking forward to that. You know, many of his songs were recorded by Alex Chilton and Conway Twitty and the Box Tops, you know, the letter. Mm -hmm. My baby just wrote me the, a letter. <laughs> um, and then also... Um you know, Dan Penn, uh, Irma Thomas did a whole Dan Penn album, as uh, as did I believe Johnny Adams. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Dan Penn is fantastic. So if you if you're in a mood to hear a, a giant, go see uh, Dan Penn on Wednesday night. If you're in the mood to see another giant on Wednesday night, go see Dr. Lonnie Smith over at the uh, the UNO Sandbar, which is a fantastic jazz club. Dr. Lonnie Smith is a giant of uh, the B3 Hammond, o Oregon, and uh, he is an NEA jazz master. He's been around for the last 50, 60 years, and he's just really worth seeing. Um, and of course, um, 
that's going to be at uh, at the Sandbar, I believe, at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I'm ambling into the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage um, Festival, which of course takes um, takes off on mm -hmm. Thursday. And um, everybody who's really interested in the festival has already looked over the cubes, and you know pretty much what you're going to see. And what, but the only thing that I would suggest is to allow let this leave a door open for surprise, mm -hmm. because sometimes it's on the way to uh, the, the act that you really think you really want to see, that you find somebody else who you never thought you would fall in love with, and you do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I plan to be there um, um, as often as I possibly can. And I, su I, would, uh, I would suggest that maybe you all would, might, might want to look into the Cultural Exchange Pavilion World Journey, mm -hmm. where you see so many international acts. You know, representing Congo and and uh, South Africa and of course France, and so it's going to be a lovely, lovely event. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Well, well, I know you uh, well. want us to see P. J. Morton and the Sub Dudes as well, but they can right, check yeah. the cubes on Indeed. that check one. Check your cubes. Check the cubes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, dear. Yes. And New Orleans Magazine quiz queen Julia Street has a question for us. Last time, Judy Clavery told us what four streets in the French Quarter have the names of saints, St. Anne, St. Louis, St. Peter, and St. Philip Streets. Now tonight's question. Okay, we've got, let's see, two synagogues were named after this father and son, one in Newport, Rhode Island, the other here in New Orleans. Who are they? Hmm. Email your answers to steppinout at wyes.org. And that is the official address. You have to email it to that address, by the way. And we've got all these great prizes. A dish towel with the message, Jazz Dad, from our friends at wearablevegetables.com. A $25 gift certificate from the delightful Kitchen Witch Cookbook Shop on Bayou Road, right off North Broad. They're hosting a free concert event this Saturday from 3 to 6 called Songbirds on Bayou Road. And a pair of free admission passes to either the Audubon Zoo, Aquarium of the Americas, or the Butterfly Garden and Insectarium. By the way, this year's Zoo to Do for Kids is next Friday night, and the 42nd annual Hancock Whitney Zoo to Do is Friday, May 3rd. Tickets for both events can be purchased through AudubonNatureInstitute.org. You can go to WYES.org for our online calendar, including Mark Broussard performing at next week's YLC Wednesday at Lafayette Square. You can also link to our WYES YouTube channel to see our program. And now, Lars. Lars, you are going to be one of the busiest people at the Jazz Fest. You've got a lot going up. Huh? Yeah, it's going to be um, some extra things going on because of the anniversary. You were at the first Jazz Fest yeah, right. 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's only a few of us still left from that <laughs> You were just a little kid and you're still yeah. a little kid, huh? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a call from the festival uh, reminding me about a concert that I did 50 years ago, which I completely forgot about. And uh, apart from doing a concert with the Ragtime Orchestra, which I've been doing every year, um, they also said that you did a, a concert called Ragtime to Jelly Roll. And I said, well, I don't remember that. And, <laughs> and then she started telling me who was in it. And it was Don Newell. Was, and it was a Ragtime Orchestra mm -hmm. with various guests. Don Newell was one of them. Uh, Frank Amaker, oh, you remember wow. him? He yeah, played in sure, Storyville. absolutely. Yeah, and a few other people. And... Um, so I said, well, those people are not around anymore. And he said, well, get some other ones. <laughs> 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 so anyway, so I lined up these uh, great That's players to help out on that. Uh, Chris Tukarski is going to be on it to do some solo General Morton mm. material. And I'll be playing banjo on some of the songs. That's great. Well, and I know you have so many things coming up. So we're going as we talk, mm -hmm. we're going to show full okay. screens. And of course, once again, you can check the cubes. Yeah. But uh, very much ragtime, and with some old friends too, because you're going to be playing what with Tommy Sankin, Yeah, I'm going to play with Tommy. I'm going to um, play with, with uh, do a trio with Chris Tokarski and Joe mm -hmm. Goldberg. That's just something that they added this year too. It's a little trio mm -hmm. events. I think it's in the CD tent actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's one. And uh, who else? Might you're the Palm Court Band, of course. Oh, we, good. We and most the time you're at the economy hall, right? Right, most, most of it is at the economy hall. Uh -huh. So this uh, this uh, Jelly Roll thing is going to go to, it's almost like a jazz history. It's going to go to Ragtown, Buddy Bolden, Kid uh -huh. Ori, King Oliver, and uh -huh. we end up with Jelly Roll. Oh, mm. how With wonderful. a big orchestra in there, and we're going to have three saxophones and extra <laughs> trumpet players, and they're going to be wild. <laughs> well, it's just hard to believe you've been playing for 50 years. Oh, and Sammy Remington's coming back to New right. Orleans. Right, he will lives... be with us with the Palm Court Band. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, yeah. good, good. Right. 
and, um, and that um, and the legacy band with Tommy Sankton mm -hmm. as well. So it's like you all interchange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I met Tommy when he was a little kid. Isn't know, that amazing? Yeah. yeah. I think he was about 15 or something. Uh, and I'll, just once again, kudos for all that you do with GHB Records, do keeping the, oh, yeah, the, that's, the traditional uh, jazz alive. Job. Uh, I finally got a day job <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> Managing 1,400 different uh, CDs, releases, yeah. CDs. Yeah, we're doing a CD because we have all our CDs. We also, we also got back into the vinyl business again. Wow. Too. Yeah. So yeah, GHB but, Records, the website? Uh, yeah. It's okay. uh, jazzology.com. Jazzology. Jazzology. Jazzology.com. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Well, welcome. Yeah, so we're back yeah. on um, doing, putting out vinyl. We also yeah. made a license agreement with other companies putting out a lot of vinyl oh, because well, we can't okay. put them all out ourselves. Well, you know, anytime you have something yeah. new to come mm -hmm. here. Thank yeah. you, Lars. Right, and thanks. earlier today, Kathleen Edmison and pianist John Papa Grove visited with us to tell us about WWOZ's radio's upcoming coming 31st annual piano night and grow played for us let's look Kathleen, some new features to Piano Night. We are so excited. This is our 31st annual Piano Night, and of course it's the Monday night between Jazz Fest weekends, and this year we have an amazing lineup. Of course, John Papa Grove, Marsha <laughs> right Ball, here. right here. <laughs> Marsha Ball, Ellis Marcellus, John Cleary, so it's an exciting night. And yes, we have several new features this year. One we're really excited about is a special dinner that several lucky winners will be able to attend. And that is hosted by Marsha Ball and Joe Crown. So it's a three course dinner at Ralph's on the Park mm. with wine, cocktails with Marsha and Joe. And then after dinner, they'll retire to the bar for after dinner drinks and performances <laughs> at the bar, the piano in the bar. It's a fabulous opportunity available at Piano Night. Now, how many piano nights does this make for you? Ooh, huh? I started <laughs> probably around 93, 94. Really? And, uh, okay. I'm not, I don't even want to think about the math. <laughs> <laughs> now, where does the Papa come from? It's John Papa Grove. When uh, we were starting, um, my previous band, Papa Grove's Funk, had to get I a name remember. in the paper, and a friend of mine goes, you need to call it Papa Grows Funk because you're Papa and you grow the funk. <laughs> I was like, well, I got two great daughters, so they call me dad, but I'll, I'll take Papa. Well, I know some of your inspirations are, of course, Dr. John and Alan Toussaint, but you've been busy. You were at a Kennedy Center recently and in Japan? In Japan in February, so uh, right before Mardi Gras. You know, a lot of people are very bummed out. There's no Rolling Stones, but maybe a taste? Ah, uh, maybe a taste, but uh, there'll be some John Papa Grow at Jazz Fest, so that, that's a good taste. No, but you're doing a tribute to the Stones, I am aren't doing you? a tribute to the Stones at the Rock and Bowl on uh, Thursday, what is that, May 2nd, I believe. All right, so lots mm -hmm. to look forward to, and of course, you'll be at the Jazz Fest as well. Yes. But first off, of course, Piano Night, um, benefiting WWOZ, yes. right? Now, um, do you play uh, tr standards? Do you like to play a little bit of your own stuff? What are you going to be playing that night? I usually play a little bit of, of, of the Tradition. The, my style of the, the New Orleans piano tradition comes from Fats Domino, Dr. John, Alan Tucson, and then I'll mix that in with some of my original songs as well. Okay, and what are you playing for us tonight? I'm going to play one of my all-time favorite songs, I think one of the most important New Orleans songs ever written, Earl King's Make a Better World. All right, thank you both. Let's Thanks here. here. Yeah, you're right. John Papa Grove.
And a reminder, WWOZ's 31st annual piano night, Monday, that's April 29th at the House of Blues on Decatur Street. It sells out, so get your tickets. Visit WWOZ.org, Piano Night, for more info. And now it's time, though, for our Artist Spotlight. Tonight we are featuring the artwork of artists featured in a pre-Jazz Fest exhibit. This is B.B. King, The Blues Born and Raised by Gary Patterson and Marion Barnes. And this is Iran Zagera by Woodrow Nash. These works are a part of Jazz Fest Eve exhibit next Wednesday at the Angela King Gallery on Royal. And now, Alan. Well, on Game of Thrones, you know, winter is coming, <laughs> but uh, here in New Orleans, Spring is here. It's April, and while most of us are enjoying the last vestiges of memories of the French Quarter Fest and, and maybe even remembering a little bit of the Strawberry Festival, Jazz Fest's 50th anniversary, as Gwen pointed out, is kicking off next week, but there are several other musical events that reflect our city's rich musical heritage. First of all, we are, as Gwen will tell you, the first city of opera. We had opera mm -hmm. here in the, the Americas in 1796. New Orleans has that uh, distinction. Yep. And the New Orleans Opera Association is going to be presenting Giuseppe Verdi's Riga that's the, the tale of revenge gone wrong. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite arias is in this, of course, the Duke of Mantua's La Donna Mobile, which the womanizing uh, tenor accuses all women of being fickle. Uh, again, a, a great, uh, wonderful Verdi opera. If you get to see it Friday, April the 26th, uh, they'll have uh, tickets also available for Sunday, April the 28th. That's at the Mahalia Jackson Theater for the performing arts. Meanwhile, the New Orleans Friends of Music are hosting the A. Ben Quartet. That's uh, a week from third, uh, this coming Tuesday. So they're performing forming one Faure string quartet and two Beethoven quartets, mm. one early and one late. Uh, it's a very interesting young group of diverse French performers. And by the way, this will be the 375th performance for the New Orleans Friends of Music. That's a pretty good record. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. That's at Dixon Hall at Newcomb University. Now, last Tuesday night, the LPO got together for uh, the Swing in the Oaks. And uh, I wanted to remind everybody that they have these free concerts from time to time. Next Thursday, it's going to be the Swing in the Park. That's going to be at Lafreniere Park in Metairie. And again, a free admission. Right? Lafreniere Park, of course, out in Metairie uh, off of the uh, Veterans Exit. Get out there early and get yourself seated and have yourself a good time. A lot of fun. And finally, you mentioned Quinella uh, 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 Linnell, right? She, uh, Keanu, Keanu Linnell, Linnell. Yes. She actually was one of the uh, big uh, uh, performers that uh, got the big award for the Stage Door Idols a few years ago. She won. She's from Baton Rouge and, yes. and doing very good in the jazz world. Well, the Stage Door Idol auditions are going to be happening on Saturday, May the 4th. Now, again, they were supposed to happen in the Stage Door Canteen, but it's been switched to the Malcolm Forbes Theater now. So those of you who have uh, any talent or perhaps, uh, you know, one to try out and, and see if you can uh, manage to win this very, very competitive uh, uh, award. Uh, it, it comes with a $1,000 gift, too, as well. Uh, you got to check out the auditions. They're going to be on, uh, again, Saturday, May the 4th. But you have an opportunity to be among people like Spencer Rocca and even Christina Perez, who didn't win, by the way, but actually was so good that she starred in several productions at the World War II Museum. Okay? All right. Well, great. Thank you very much. Mm. And now time for our Picks of the Week. Quinn. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, my pick of the week, believe it or not, is not Jazz Fest related. Mm -hmm. It is Maggie Kerner, The Suffers, and Julie O'Dell over at um, the one at One Eye Jacks. Okay. They're going to be there on Friday, um, April 26th. The show is going to begin at 8 o'clock. If you have not heard Maggie Kerner's voice, you really need to do yourself a favor and listen to it. It is a gift from God. All right. Thank you so much, Poppy. I wanted to be sure to mention that if anybody wants to see those full-length videos, all that is at the Jazz Festival Archives, the Foundation's Archives in the French Quarter, and they're open to the public. And tomorrow, Gretna Food Truck Fest, Saturday at the Gretna Farmer's Market, from 5 until 9 p.m. Okay. Lars. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw that there's a whole bunch of tributes at the festival, yeah, I think it would be great to see. It's a Danny Barker one, and it's a Blue Lou Barker one as well. Aww. And also a tribute to David Thalmy and Fats Domino. Uh, Very good. That would Thank be great. you. Alan. Well, mine is Jazz Fest related, <laughs> and, and it's the 28th annual Jazz Fest Shabbat. This is the first one for Canner Kevin Margolius. Terry Maddox is the music director with a can uh, they have a big choir. That's going to be at Turo Synagogue. It's free admission, but get there early. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. And my picks, there are three Easter parades taking place this Sunday. The first is the historic French Quarter Easter Parade, which will start at 9.45 a.m 
come from Antoine's and proceeds down to St. Louis Cathedral for an 11 o'clock mass. The second is the Chris Owens French Quarter Easter Parade, and this parade starts at 1 p.m. at St. Louis and Royal Streets and ends at the Omni Royal Orleans Hotel. Visit FrenchQuarterEasterParade.com for a full ske parade schedule. So sorry to learn of the recent passing of Mark Davison, Mrs. Owens' fiancé. She will ride in tribute to him. And the final parade is this year's Gay Easter Parade, and that starts at 4.30 p.m. The parade will start at Armstrong Park and end at Grand Prés at 8.34 North Rampart. Visit GayEasterParade.com for a full route. And next week, we will share more about the May 1st opening at the New Orleans Jazz Museum at the Mint's tribute to Louis Prima. So stay tuned for that, and thank you all very much, and thank you for watching. Good night. This program is sponsored in part by the Eugenie and Joseph Jones Family Foundation, a local foundation proud to support the arts and culture in the greater New Orleans area. And by New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation, New Orleans, where stories are created. Support for Steppin' Out comes in part from the Kristovich family in honor of Mary Lou and Bill Kristovich.